What's good everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today we are back with another speed build. In today's speed build, we are gonna go ahead and make a modern, small, little, nice family house slash best friends house slash whatever you want it to be. It's a tiny house with like what, three? Not really tiny, but it's it's a, it's a, it's a well, it's, it's on the tiniest lot, but it's a small house um, with, um, Sorry, my mom's going crazy upstairs, so she's doing something. But um, yeah, it's a small house with um, what three bedrooms? Yeah, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. No, there's one downstairs. Um, so it's two. Okay, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a kitchen, living room, and dining room. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, so hope you guys do enjoy it. Hope you guys like it. I absolutely love this house. I'm actually like multitasking. I always do this multitasking whenever I'm late. Like right now I'm late on uploading. Sorry. I had an assignment that I had to get done before 12 o'clock. Um, and I actually ended up ending, I actually, I actually ended up, um, handing that in late. So yeah, I, I just didn't have no time to do it. So I'm, I'm going to be uploading this late, probably around like six, seven o'clock. So if you guys enjoy a late update, but I got some great news. I'm on reading week, which is oh, so exciting. But if you guys don't know what reading week is, reading week is pretty much um, a week where I'm off of school. So I have no school for a week. Oh my God. It's great. I get to sit, la I get to chill, relax, breathe for once. I haven't been breathing a lot lately. I've just been, I haven't been sleeping a lot lately. I've just been like getting up and doing work. So, um, yeah, I get to breathe now, which is nice. And I just get a, rep a, rep a reprieve, a reprieve from school for a week, which is again, really nice. But, um, yeah, so that, so you can expect, um, hopefully more videos, but of course my, my, um, sorry, my, I'm, like I said before, I'm editing, not editing, I'm, I'm finishing up this while I'm talking to you guys, and of course my, um, my mouse stops working exactly when I'm doing it, but it's okay, I'm gonna fight through it, okay, it seems like it's, it's getting back on track, but anyways, just expect a lot of videos, expect a lot of Life of the Pearson videos, because... University is pretty much confirmed at this point, and I already have an idea what I'm doing for university. I think I'm gonna do a life with a Pearson thing, um, where um, Z Zarina, Zarina, and um, yeah, Zarina and her friends go to university together. I'm super excited for that. I actually thought about the storyline. I already thought about what's gonna happen. I'm just super excited to get into it. You guys know how pumped I am for university. I really hope it ends up coming out really well. Um, I heard there's gonna be dorms, which sucks because if I'm doing it the way I want to do it, we're not gonna have to live in the dorms because, I don't know, maybe we'll live in the dorms for a little bit and then we'll move out. I don't know. I have to wait and see what's gonna happen. I really, really on God want to be an, um, an, what's called an EA, um, EA game changer just for this pack. Like, I don't really care about the other packs that much. This, this pack is it's very, very special to me because I use this pack. Well, I'm going to be using this pack forever. Like, I use University and The Sims 3, like, every single Let's Play I had. Like, I feel like college slash university so, like, so, um, great, not graded. So, um, so, um, what's that word? So, um, oh my god, there's a word for it. College slash universities is so, like, something so, so like so driven i don't know what the word is but it's, it's like it's like graded graded whatever the word is into our brain um that when pretty much the first thing you think of when you finish high school is going to college so i feel like it was a very important step that we were missing so happy to get it back you already know my opinions on how i feel about college university i i think it's a great thing but i feel like we put so much emphasis on it whereas with people don't have it they look down upon but again i'm not gonna talk about that again i talked about that in a video way before not way before probably about like a month or so when i found out about this coming out so if you guys want to go ahead and look at that you're gonna have to go back and search for the video because i actually don't know which one i talked about university on but um i'm excited for it because as i said before it's, it's a big part in people's lives and i know for a fact i'm gonna be using it a lot so i hopefully i can get it i signed up for EA gay changers i have no clue how it works um hopefully i get it i'll let you guys know I'll, okay i'll keep you guys updated on that but um yeah but anyways i hope you guys do enjoy this house i think um if worse comes to worse i could actually kind of use this for i was thinking of using this for like my lp just, just for the simple fact that um i have three sims that i'm playing with as of right now so, oops what's good hello did someone butt call me? Yo. What? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yo. Can you hear me? Hello? Oh my god. I have no service down here. Hold up. 
I gotta make a call. Hope you guys, I, I'm not even gonna edit this out my, um, I'm not even gonna, oh my god, my phone, hold up. Yeah, I'm not even gonna edit this out of my, um, my video. Who has time for that? You know when, like, you're trying to do something and your phone's being weird? It's this really, it's a really big piss off. But, um, do, 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 do. Oh my freaking god. Okay, I'll this cuss. I'm sorry. But my phone is being stupid. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, I need to call my little brother. What's his phone number? Yeah, that, that would have probably been a good I think like thing. I have no clue what his number is. Um anyways, uh <laughs> that was so awkward. Okay, so this is the thing. I gotta I got so much I gotta do. Mocha, help me. Okay, so this build looking like it's done. I, I didn't do the inside. I will be doing the inside. Hopefully I'll be doing the inside. Um, when I get inspiration for it, I should be doing it. Um, but anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off, not the, not the commentary, just the build here. Um, I'm, I always try to get my build to like what, an, like an hour or so because it's the best time for editing. But I think I'm gonna end it off early because I think it, sounds, it looks really nice. I, I like the outside landscaping. I like the interior, uh, not interior, it's not done yet, but I like it. Um, there's a master, oh, I forgot the windows. There you go, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to add windows. I keep on, I always end up forgetting to add windows to my Sims' house. Don't ask me why, but it's just, I just forget it. Like how I forget some fridges sometimes, it's, it's weird. Uh, hold on. He's trying to call me again, and my, see, I have no, I, I, okay, my room is in the basement, and I honestly get no service down here, so he's trying to call me to, I don't know, tell me something, and I'm not getting any reception, so that kind of sucks. Um, let me, details, let me just grab his number, because I know nobody's number by heart. There we go. Paste call okay so i'm going to talk on the phone with him while i do this commentary is this very un unprofessional i think so but I, I don't know i just i i i'm sorry i'm weird sorry today's sunday i just i'm trying i'm trying to multitask to the gods and it's not working out so let's see if this works um so while he's not picking up i just want to make sure that everything in this house is looking squeaky clean oh yep i forgot some more windows <sighs> be being me but anyways what i was gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about today was um love island i do want to go ahead and apologize not apologize but i've been very off lately okay he's not picking up whatever i'll talk later um but um i've been very off lately i don't know i feel like this week has been very draining i don't know school i i always i always bish about school but this year has been extremely draining on me um i, I don't know if you could tell with my videos they've been slacking a lot lately is because again i don't know it's just it's hard, not hard, but I don't know. It's just something about this, not the stress of how, what's going on, but just, I don't know. It's been, it's been very tough. Maybe because, no, I think it is. I think it's because I really care. Um, I won't say that I normally don't care in my other course, but I feel like in my other courses, I didn't really take them quote unquote too seriously because I wasn't truly in love with what I'm doing, but I really like what I'm doing right now. I really love um, what I'm, the creative aspect of what my project or my, course is about so I've been really loving it and maybe that's why I feel like I've been taking it so seriously and I've been staying up at night to make sure everything's okay and getting the best grades I can get just because I, I actually truly think I actually like this course that much which is actually really cool to see but in that sense well in that sense it's been hard for me to keep up with YouTube especially comments especially making videos because uh, sometimes you get home from school and like I said before my commute is like what an hour and something minutes I can't even remember it's no it's an hour and 40 minutes and by the time I get home I'm I'm done for the day. I just want to go home. Not go home. But I just want to like go to sleep, and then I forget to upload bills. Like, right, I forget to make bills and all that type of stuff. But I want to thank you guys so much for being sticking around and being so understanding. Y'all have sent me so much sweet comments, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. I really appreciate it. Um. Also, I also want to talk about something real quick. Um. What's it called again? Uh. So today I was to talk about Love Island. I see. I love. I, I. I have to do this because when the person who ever wins does win, I want to go back to be like, ha. I called it. I called it. But let me tell you guys my opinion. And if you're just talking about Love Island, I'm talking about Love Island Australia, which is my second favorite series. My first one is the UK one. But fun fact, I actually don't even finish the UK series. I think, yeah, I haven't finished the UK series in a long time. I, I didn't. I only finished season one and season two. I didn't like season three. I didn't like season four, and I didn't like season five. Um, but I love season one of, um, the Australian version. I always end up finishing it. I don't know who what. I don't know what song the UK one, but I just could never. 
finish it. It just doesn't, it, I don't know what it is. It just, it just, it just isn't it for me. But, um, anyway, so I'm watching the UK one right now and it's not the UK one, the Australian one. And it's really good. Um, when I first got into it, I won't lie though. I was like, if you have like, I don't really know who I liked, but here's the story about this. Ooh, we're getting into this, but, um, okay. I'm done with this build. I think it looks really good. Um, I definitely think I, this is definitely furnished ready. So I'll see if I can do it. And I'm done this commentary, but, um, anyways so what i was trying to say was i will say though that um <laughs> um i do have my ships but when i first started watching um the australian version i liked nobody i kind of liked grant and K cassie i thought they were um really cute together no grant and no not cassie grant and adam i don't know it's funny because when i walked when i first watched the preview of it i thought adam would get, everyone thought Adam was gonna be a douche he just seems like that typical prick um of a person but then after literally five seconds when he walked in, i'm like okay i'm gonna like this guy he's gonna be my favorite guy on the island and so i've been repping him since I actually kind of repped him before that because people okay i want to lie um i kind of repped him before that because i thought because i had a feeling i just had a, I had a gut feeling that he was gonna be a really cool so i kind of repped in the beginning i repped vanessa i repped um cassie i repped grant not grant garrett Garrett and I grant oh god grant my heart still hurts from last season if you guys haven't watched the last season of um Aust uh, love by Australia don't watch it like it hurts um but anyways <laughs> but um yeah I like that and then I kind of liked Adam at that point I thought he was really cool and so um I actually didn't mind any of the characters at this point not characters any of the cast at this point so it was really cool with everybody but then when I when he walked in and he, he started with the banter banter banta i can't say banter i have to say banta but when he started off with banta it was i don't know i just i was drawn to him i was like okay he's 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 the number one guy he needs to find his queen now and i thought it was gonna be cassie i thought him and cassie had a really good relationship i thought there was a lot of banta in the mix i thought it was really fun but then they decided to break it off because their their lack of communication was big and i was like you know what? it's okay but in my back of my mind dead said when i was watching the video i was like what if you know because y'all know i love reading books i love me my books and i was like what if adam and katia get together wouldn't that be hilarious because they are total opposites and if you guys don't know this my favorite like quote unquote romantic genre is opposite opposite attraction or opposite attracts when like people who make no sense get together i don't know i love it that's my favorite thing in the world when people that make absolutely no sense just get together it's it's, it's, it's just it, i think that kind of okay fun fact let's go back let's go back to like my high school days um there was this one couple that happened um i shipped a couple at my school yes that's so weird i shipped friends together because it was so weird because in my in my middle school in my high school should i say it was very clicky we had like the drum. I, I went to I went to like an arts high school. So we had the drama kids. We had the art kids. We have the you know the athletes. We had the we had the dancers. We had the actors. We have all those people. They all had their own cliques, you know. So it was very clicky, and people only like dated within their clique. It was very weird like that. Like sometimes people would merge over, but be like maybe like a drama student and an art student getting together, you know. Um, a drama student, yeah, a drama student and an art student getting together. And it, 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 it wouldn't be too dramatic, you know? It wasn't anything out of the park. But there was this one couple, which made absolutely no sense. It was it was one of, like, the athlete girls or the girls that hang with all the athlete people. And the thing is, the athlete people kind of, like, not despised, but kind of made fun of the art art kids, right? And and so one of, like, and there's, oh, my God, this is so weird. But my high school had, like, tears, you know? Like, each group had, like, a tier of, like, you know, who was, like not the king and queen of like the clique but you know like the top tier right and so the top tier couple ended up splitting off and then the top tier guy's girlfriend ended up dating one of not the top tier but one of like the people from he's actually mid-tier <laughs> this is so weird see my high school so messed up but um he I ended up dating she ended up dating one of the guy from the drama club and it was like a big thing it was so weird it was so weird because normally like i said when you walk into lunch it's very clicky so you just walk you you'd walk in with a group and you go straight into your group, right? But no, when they walked in holding hands, it was so quiet and it was so quiet. It was just, it wasn't even like, it was like bad. It was just weird. Like we don't, you, you don't expect people from, from people outside their clique to be dating. And so they kind of like holded hands and they kissed and then like they separated. Like he went to the drama section. She went to like the athlete section. It was so weird. I was shook. I'm like, oh my God, this is exciting. Ooh, I shipped this. You see? And I think ever since then I realized I liked opposite attractions. So going back to Love Island, Australia, 
once I saw the whole Katya and Adam thing, I was on it like hot. I was on, on it like you don't understand. <laughs> they're like my favorite now. I think they're my favorite couple to ever come out of Love Island, the whole series. That's crazy. My number one favorite was um back in the days was um what's called it was Jesse and Max. If you guys don't remember that, that was UK. I think that was season one. Jesse and Max, they won. They were my absolute favorite. Again, opposite attracts. They they made no sense, and I really wanted them to work. I tell you, I, I think I think I've always like opposite attracts. Those are like some of my favorite couples when people that don't make sense get together. But anyways, um, yeah. So I thought to talk about that for a second. I'll go more into depth. I appreciate sure I don't care, but I I can't stop talking about it. I love Adam and Cartier so much. Ooh. Anyways, I just thought I'd talk about that. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for me hope you guys enjoyed this build thank you guys so much for watching and of course i'll see you guys tomorrow on the next one i'm out this is peace bye later guys i love y'all have a great sunday oh no i think i've lost my mind i think i've lost it all